Amazing. This is great. I'm blessed. How about yourself? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm not wearing the ugly suit, though. That's okay. Yes. You're doing, you, you know what? You are appropriate. That's actually <laughs> probably true. <laughs> let, let me jump into why I get to talk to you guys today. Some shoots are a real pain in the ass. I'm assuming this one was a hell of a lot of fun. It uh, was. was it? it really was. It was, a, it was a lot of fun. This one wasn't a pain in the ass at all. Um, I got to say, I think one of the reasons why it wasn't a pain in the ass is because Quivenjane is so young and she can't work that many hours. Yeah, it's true. I never thought about it, but like that's yeah. one of the reasons why it wasn't grueling. Uh, but also, Quivenjane was there, and she's a real bright light, and, and she's a fun little girl, and she's really, she's just a lot of fun. And then, you know, you got Cameron, who's funny and kind and sweet, and you got Jamie, who's just, you know, the mayor of the world, and, you know, it's just <laughs> super entertaining. And, and it was, it was just, it was really, really a fun shoot. We'll talk a little bit about collaborating with Will. Um, was this one of these projects that, we'll talk a little bit about working with him and how it changed, possibly, from when you got involved to what people are seeing on screen. You know, I think Will really had a vision for this movie. He did a great job at taking the original as a basis and layering in so many wonderful elements of a contemporary story and in, in a modern world. And um, I think that, you know, he what he did was very you know, he was focused and he's such a great leader. He's so much fun. And yeah, he threw, there was all day long, there was just alternative lines being thrown out. One funnier than the next. So um, I think that he just, he just had it. He knew what he wanted it to be. He knew what the tone was and he helped us deliver that to him, so. Uh, I would imagine that uh, there were a lot of friends that wanted to visit you on this particular set. Was that true? <laughs> Did I have any friends? I had some friends that wanted to come and couldn't make it, and they were heartbroken. They were really like, "Oh, we really wanted." My girlfriend wanted to bring her daughter, and that's what I was getting. Yeah, at, yeah. she was. She really was like, I, "It's going to be a mommy trip, and we're going to come to New York, and we're going to." And they didn't get to make it, and they were pretty bummed out about it. But the, they're 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 going to go see it together now. So I understand. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of these movies that has really catchy songs, but I would imagine when you're hearing them again and again and again. You, maybe they get a little bit old. Was there what day in the shoot where you were like, oh, I can't, I can't hear the sun will come out tomorrow anymore, or whatever song? Mom, um, well, for me, uh, Rose, Rose and I lived together, and so she was that song. Yes, yes, I think I'm gonna like it in here. They just they took forever to shoot that. They just they they shot it over many days, over a month, and so I would say probably that song. But mm. like Easy Street, I just love the song. I remember the night we were shooting in the Guggenheim and 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 Quivenjane sings Opportunity. The first time I heard it, I was so moved by mm. it. She's so good, and that song is so beautiful. And I honestly did not get sick of that song. I just mm. kept singing it to myself, and I could hear her singing a million times. And I think that that really speaks to what Sia did as you know creating writing new songs for it and also re you know doing the arrangement on the songs that we love I think she just made music that you want to listen to you want to hear these songs over there they don't you don't get tired of them they're just so catchy and they're so fun and they're so uplifting and so current you know so totally I gotta go but just real fast I know you have that HBO thing with Scorsese and the rock and roll what yeah. can you tease people about it because it's something I'm super excited for yeah we're pretty excited too uh, it's just wonderful Terry Winter wrote it and uh, and we've got and it's and Marty directed it it takes place in the 70s in New York what more do you need uh, nothing <laughs> <laughs> thank you great so to much see you. And have a great day